Hey savvy investors, today, we're looking at the results of a recent poll I did on the channel. I wanted to find out which REITs you think are the best buy and hold forever investments. These are the REITs that can serve as the bedrock of a portfolio, providing stable income over the years, no matter how the markets swing. We received 238 votes, so thank you to everyone who took part. In this video, we'll go through your top picks, highlight some other popular mentions in the comments. So, let's dive in. The results, your picks. 1. Capital Land Integrated Commercial Trust. With 42% of the votes, or 100 people, choosing Capital Land Integrated Commercial Trust or CICT. It's clear that many of you see this as a go-to REIT for the long term. CICT owns a diversified portfolio of prime shopping malls and office spaces, like Plaza Singapura and Raffles City, giving it both stability and growth potential. Why it's a great choice? CICT benefits from high foot traffic in its malls and strong tenant demand in its office spaces, making it a reliable dividend payer. For those who prefer predictability and resilience, this is a solid pick, especially with the property behemoth Capital Land as its sponsor. It's no surprise that this re topped the poll. However, no investments are without risk, even for CICT. Along with the rest of the Singapore office market, its office portfolio faces challenges from rising vacancies and changing trends in hybrid work arrangements. I highlighted potential risks with the occupancy rates and office rental rates in Singapore starting to decline in an earlier video. Take a look if you wish to find out more. 2. Fraser's Centerpoint Trust. Coming in second with 18% of the votes, or 43 votes, is Fraser's Centerpoint Trust or FCT. This REIT focuses on suburban retail malls like North Point City and Causeway Point, which thrive even during economic downturns, thanks to the essential services they provide. Why it's attractive? Suburban malls enjoy steady foot traffic from residents, making FCT's income stream very stable. Many of you probably like the idea of holding a REIT that isn't as exposed to the ups and downs of the economy or tourist traffic. With Singapore's growing suburban population, FCT seems like a dependable choice for long-term investors. More recently, as I highlighted in last week's video, the upcoming RTS link between Singapore and Johor Bahru could divert some shopper traffic across the border, posing potential risks to footfall at FCT's northern malls like Causeway Point. If Malaysian retail malls become a draw for Singaporean shoppers, this could affect tenant sales and rents. Before we move on, if you enjoy the collective wisdom shared by the REIT investing community here, Please give me a like, for the YouTube algorithm, and subscribe to the channel if you have not. Alright, let's get back to the video. 3. Capital Land Ascendus REIT Next up, 41 people voted for Capital Land Ascendus REIT or CLAR, giving it 17% of the total votes. CLAR focuses on business parks, industrial properties, and logistics facilities, providing exposure to Singapore's industrial economy and global supply chains. Why it's a solid pick? With e-commerce and logistics demand increasing, Ascendus REIT benefits from long-term trends. Plus, it offers international exposure with properties in places like the US, Australia, and Europe. Investors who prefer boring but stable returns likely see this REIT as a great way to anchor their portfolios. Investors should also note that CLAR, unlike the top two REIT choices, has a significant overseas portfolio at about 35% of property valuations, along with foreign exchange volatility, can potentially impact distributions. Additionally, some of its US and Australian properties face occupancy pressure as companies adjust their real estate strategies post-pandemic. 4. Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust 33 people chose Maple Tree Pan Asia Commercial Trust or MPACT, giving it 14% of the total votes. MPACT owns high-profile assets like Vivo City in Singapore and Festival Walk in Hong Kong. However, it has faced some challenges, particularly in Hong Kong's retail market, which has struggled post-pandemic, and with ongoing geopolitical uncertainties, recovery may take longer than expected, impacting rental income. This prompted a follower on my Instagram, World Investor 8 said MPACT definitely does not get his vote. Why could it still be worth holding? If you believe in a rebound in consumer spending, especially in Hong Kong and China, MPACT could offer some upside. For those looking for a mix of regional exposure with strong local assets, MPACT fits the bill. 5. Others 
the remaining 9%, or 21 votes, were for others. I will share some interesting votes and insightful comments. Maple Tree Logistics Trust or MLT, a leader in logistics real estate, MLT benefits from e-commerce growth and supply chain shifts across Asia. This REIT provides exposure to a booming sector that's likely to continue growing, despite facing near-term challenges from its portfolio in China. Maple Tree Industrial Trust or MIT, with a focus on Singapore industrial and high-tech spaces for stability and U.S. data centers which taps into the demand for cloud computing and IT infrastructure for growth, MIT is an attractive REIT for the future. Several viewers including at Maker88 and at BTANS voted for this. Capital and Ascot Trust or Class, specializing in hospitality properties like service departments and hotels, Class provides exposure to travel recovery. As travel rebounds post-pandemic, this REIT has strong potential to grow. I must say, I agree with that Jakuna Zagran 5646. Keppel DC REIT, a pure play data center REIT, at Hia Min An voted for it. Keppel DC REIT rides on the digital transformation trend and rising demand for data infrastructure. However, risks include higher electricity costs and operational challenges from increasing regulations in the data center space and tenant concentration. Parkway Life REIT, a healthcare REIT focusing on hospitals and nursing homes, Parkway Life offers recession proof returns. Given Singapore's aging population and rising demand for healthcare, this REIT is a dependable choice for stability. No wonder at Anthony 2326 and at Henryton 8393 voted for it. One of the most surprising comments came from at Yenkan Tan 7184, who suggested AM's APAC REIT. This is a lesser discussed REIT, but it has shown strong performance in recent years. I'll definitely be checking this one out soon. Thanks for the tip, Yankun. In addition, some of you mentioned REIT ETFs and Singapore banks as alternatives for long term investing and these are also credible options. REIT ETFs offer diversification by giving you exposure to a basket of REITs. However, as I warned in my recent video, REIT ETFs come with some risks, such as distribution of capital to boost dividend yields and management fees eating into returns. So do your homework before diving into ETFs. Singapore banks, on the other hand, are great dividend payers with strong capital buffers, which makes them attractive for income-focused investors. The dividend uncle's take. Looking at the poll results, it's clear that many of you value stability and resilience, with picks like SICT and FCT leading the pack. These REITs offer the kind of consistency that makes them ideal for a buy-and-hold strategy. While it's great to focus on individual REITs that we believe can stand the test of time, I'd like to leave you with a parting note. No matter how much we love a particular REIT, Having a well-diversified portfolio is essential. Personally, I believe each of these REITs has a role to play in a broader, balanced portfolio. I'm glad to see so many of you making thoughtful decisions with this in mind. By blending REITs with complementary strengths, whether it's across sectors like retail, logistics, or data centers, or spreading exposure across different regions, we can better manage risks. This way, even if certain markets or sectors face headwinds, the overall portfolio can stay resilient and continue to grow steadily over time. Well, that's all folks. If you haven't already, let me know in the comments, what's your buy and hold forever read? And if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and support your friendly uncle here. Don't forget to subscribe for more read and dividend investing insights. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy investing!